What's going on guys? Mike from Project A60. Today, um, I'm gonna, I got a few errands I gotta go do. I'm trying to get a couple people's cars in to review. Um, I'm, right now, um, I'm going to see one of my really good friends, Dave. Um, but he's been in and out of the hospital the past few days. And I went and saw him last week. He just got home. So I'm gonna go see him. Um, he's got a really nice Volkswagen GTI that he wraps all the time. I think right now it's like a teal color and he messaged me this morning and he said he wanted to peel it so I don't know if he's standing out in his driveway doing that right now or what the deal is but I'm going to go over there if he wants a hand I'll obviously give him a hand and, and peel the rest of it off and I'll show you guys that. I'm going to go see him, um, just check up on him, see how he's doing and hopefully get one or two reviews in today. Um, really trying I've been posting on social media seeing if anybody wants to get together and do it and then I gotta at least go out I gotta make a trip to uh, the party store and then probably like a spirit Halloween and start gathering the supplies for the Evo for the Halloween trunk or treat that we do here in town uh, we got invited back from last year we won second place last year I think it was I didn't even know they were doing trophies and then they ended up coming up and handing me a trophy which I thought was pretty cool but I don't do it for that reason. I don't do it for the trophy. I do it just because it's a really good opportunity for the kids that don't really kind of get the chance to have a Halloween night um, to come out and do it um, and kind of go and see everyone else's car. Everybody puts a lot of love and effort into their cars, uh, especially decorating them for it, obviously. But I want to go crazy this year, and I'm going to go crazy this year because every year that I do it, it gets more and more intense. And this year, I'm just... I'm planning on going above and beyond. They're doing trophies again. I would really like to take home first place. I think that would be cool. Um, so I got to go get all those supplies. I'm going to go see him for a little bit. Um, I'll show you his car quick. We are going to eventually do a review just when he's up back on his feet and all that good stuff. Um, it's going to be pretty crazy in the next couple weeks. I got at least two, maybe three more full cars to Plassey Dip, which is going to be awesome. Um, Two are what you're going to be really cool and unique colors. Um, so I got that to do. I got the, the Halloween themed Evo to do. Reviews, this and that. Um, so I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to get going on with my day. So what are we doing, Dave? Huh? So what are we doing? Healing the beast. Now that I actually see this color in person, it actually looks pretty good. I like it. I just don't like it on the car. I don't know. Like every car it has its, right. every car has its color, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of teal. So Listen it's, here, we gotta be technical. It's called Tiffany Blue. Tiffany Blue. Get your shit straight. That's what it's called. So Dave's in a little bit of rough shape. Like yeah, I told you guys before, he's been in and out of the hospital. Um, True that. Had some stuff going on. But he's back on his feet. He probably shouldn't be doing this, but he is. Nope. <laughs> he looks good, too. He lost a lot of weight. So um, fat ass, though. Not uh, intentionally, obviously, just being laid up in the hospital, not being able to eat real solid foods. But he's back on his feet. He's doing his thing. It feels like classy, though. Yeah. Looks awesome. So it's been a pretty eventful day so far. Uh, I went over to Dave's house, helped him peel a little bit off his car of the vinyl. Met up with Ryan to do a review on his Dodge Dart. Uh, that might be posted tonight or tomorrow. Now I think I'm going to meet up with my buddy Kevin that has a Mitsubishi Evo. Eight, I believe I gotta contact him I'm gonna go see him I gotta get gas in the Subi 
Uh, the famous check engine light just came back on the Subaru. Stupid, stupid code. But uh, yeah, so huge shout out to Ryan for letting me do a review on his car. Uh, the Dodge Dart is, is awesome. But yeah, so I'm trying to get the content for you guys. Like I said, I'm kind of doing like a daily vlog today. Uh, showing you what I'm doing, kind of. Um, like I said, we did a review on Ryan's car. We stopped over, saw Dave. Now we're probably going to go do a review on Kevin's car. So it'll be at least two reviews and a daily vlog here. So I'll have some content for you guys. And I got to go get gas in this beast. See why the check engine light just came back on. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. Devin's new 240. This kid's gonna drive this all the way to Rudnick shop. <laughs> I just so happened to be driving down the road and he he was just getting out of his car and I almost hit him with my car, so that's why I'm the motor sounds good and healthy too. Not if I rev it. Not if you rev it. <laughs> I like it <laughs> it brings me back to the day where I had my kooky. That thing had. Yeah, I know. Everybody always bitches about that, but when I had my kooky, I had a full exhaust on that thing. Headers all the way back, and it was so loud. Kind of. Maybe I'll get another one. Take this one off my hands and build it. Now he wants to sell me this thing. There's no motor in it. So I have actually the blocks over in the corner over here. It's got two holes in it. I remember seeing that video, dude. <laughs> hey, you wanted to run it without a tune. I told you that. It was on a base. So many actually. people told you that. The first hole is here. So what do you do? Just strip this and sell parts off of it? Pretty much. There's a hole right there. Yep. And then there's one under the oil pan. Like, the hole under the oil pan is like this big. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, this is the, the 240 that I took the SR out of. And I remember when he got it, he let me take it for a ride. And I think I drifted this car before he did. Yeah, you actually did. <laughs> so, I made it to Mexico. Um, today's been one of those days here where if you're out in the sun, you're really hot. If you're in the shade, you're really cold. So, there's like no in between it's either you're like i'm wearing right now i'm wearing a hoodie and jeans and i'm in the shade i'm okay still a little cold if i go in the sun i'm way too hot it's just typical weather here when you're in mexico you can never predict the weather but right now i'm waiting for my buddy kevin to come up with this evo i'm super stoked that he's letting me review this thing i still when i leave here i still got to go to like a party supply store. I don't really want to drive all the way out to where I usually get it, but I may have to. But if anything, I'm gonna stop at the Spirit Halloween here in our town. All right, so I just went to the Spirit Halloween. Um, the only thing I ever had to complain about Spirit Halloween, it's an awesome store, but everything is just so expensive in there. I'm just gonna run home. I'm gonna go let my boys out. I'm gonna feed them because um, it's dinner time and then I think I'm just gonna shoot to like maybe like Walmart and Target um, I think that's really it that probably sell Halloween stuff around here but I'm thinking tomorrow after work I'm gonna have to head to the party store tomorrow I'm going to really shoot on trying to get the Evo done I'm gonna get that lip dipped ready to go and put back on the car and I'm gonna actually buff the Evo because it needs it. It needs a good coat of wax and there's a couple little surface scratches. I want to see if I can get out. Uh, I'm going to lay a good coat of wax on that. Get the lip back on. Hopefully if it dries and then uh, either tomorrow night or the following day is when I'm going to get going on decorating the Evo. going to have a good couple videos for you guys. Um, you know this vlog I'm going to try getting uploaded tonight um, and then the car reviews will be the next two days. So I'm trying to get the content. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. But today I did a lot. Um, happy with how everything came out. And just from the couple seconds that I watched of the clips that I got of the two reviews I did today, they're gonna be pretty sweet. So um, I'm gonna go to Walmart now and see what I can find. 
it was all a bust. I didn't find anything that I could use for what I want to do for Halloween. But I ended up buying all the candy that I need for the trunk or treat, which they usually expect like between a thousand to two thousand kids, and you have to have a thousand pieces of candy. So I just spent like seventy dollars on candy. <laughs> um, it's like twenty days away now, and I'm probably gonna end up eating all of it before then. So I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys like this video, I know it's just a daily vlog of kind of catching up on some stuff that I had to do today. Uh, just go down below, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.